Hello all, welcome to part 54 of TestNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate a situation where there are more threads, that is, there are more thread counts. Thread hyphen count is equal to more and less number of test tags in TestNG XML file. And how does this affect the parallel execution and what will happen in this kind of situation? I'm going to cover in this session. So let's get started. So what happens when there are more threads, more thread counts and less number of tests, okay? So it may be a, an interview question, guys. It may be asked, okay? This particular thing may be asked as an interview question, okay? So the remaining threads, you see here I'm saying more threads. What I mean by more threads here? First of all, I'll show you more threads and less number of tests. How many tests are there? For one test, two test tags. Two test tags are there, okay? Here I'll say parallel, parallel, is equal to, I'll enable the parallel execution first, is equal to test, I will say. So this part is fine, no problem. There are two tests and they need to be executed in parallel. And the other thing is, other attribute is thread hyphen count, okay? If this is more, if I give 10 here, only for two tests, one test will occupy only one thread. Another test will occupy another thread. What about the remaining eight threads? Is there any advantage of giving thread count as 10 here? No. The remaining th threads will be ideal as mentioned here. The remaining threads will be uh, ideal guys. Only few threads according to the number of tests will be allocated. Remaining all threads will be ideal. So I'll show you one diagram here. Okay. So you see in this hotel, there are 10 tables. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 tables are there. 10 people can sit. Okay but only two people came to the hotel. What will happen when only two people, one of the person will choose one table, another person will choose one table. What about the remaining tables, these three tables and these five tables, these eight tables, what is, the, what is the situation? They will be ideal, they will be unoccupied. Only these two tables will be occupied. One test will be occupying this thread, another test stack methods and all this will be running in this, uh, this thread. Remaining all threads will be ideal. There is no use of providing this many number of tests this many number of threads when there are only two tests, okay? If there are 10 tests and if you provide thread count 10, then all thread counts will be occupied with all the test tags, okay? Uh, all the methods in this will be running only on one thread, okay? All the methods and uh, of classes of this particular test tag will be running only on one thread, okay? Remaining all threads will be ideal. If, if I run this, you will practically see that only two threads will be allocated with a number and uh, only on the two threads, this test will be running, okay? Right click run as test ng suit. Just see that what will happen. You see only two thread counts, 23, 24, 23, 24, 23, 24, 23, 24, 23, 24, okay? Only 23 and 24, 23, 20, 23. On this 23 and 24, all the tests got executed, all the two tests got executed. Re what about remaining threads? Remaining eight threads apart from 23, 24, they, they are ideal guys. They are not utilized by these test methods, these test tags, okay? So hope guys, you got the answer for this question when there are more threads and less number of uh, test tags in test in XML file and if the parallel execution is enabled, in that case, all the remaining threads which are more than enough are ideal. Only the required number of threads will be acquired by this test tags. That's, a, that's what will happen when you do that, okay? When you specify like that. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another test topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.